be able to stand with people who are struggling and to help them find their best selves is really what this work is all about. I think on many levels, I think of it as a fast-moving river. Sometimes it's a gentle flowing stream of richness and goodness as we see children heal, we see families heal. To recognize that as people change, uh, we can have a hand in helping them to change by walking along beside them. Teamwork is invaluable and continuity and seamlessness among those team members is so vital to helping families succeed. Welcome to Adams County's Division of Children and Family Services. Come with me while we explore how we work together with families to help them become safe and stable. Come, follow me as we begin our journey through child welfare. It all begins with one phone call from a concerned individual. And in our talented screening department, we begin this process. One of our screeners, Noel. Adams County Child Protection, how can I help you? Within screening, our main job function is taking child abuse and neglect referrals. We ask investigative questions to them and explain the process then of how referrals work and, and how they go through our system. I definitely feel a, a big responsibility because it's child protection. It's, you know, the, these children's safety is at risk. You know, they read word for word, you know, our referral that we make. So it needs to be very clear, very understandable. I feel like our divisions are very communicative and that they will, you know, we work together to help each other out. So knowing the proper information and helping the family in the best way possible, you know, that's our goal. We're the first responders, we're the first contact they've potentially had with the department and kind of set the tone um, from there on out. We would talk with the children, we would talk with the parents to get a better understanding of the situation the family's currently in. The focus is to engage the family and address the worries, the worries that the community has expressed. And, and that could be hard, so it's really a balance in terms of being direct with the concern but also still engaging the family. One of the things that we do is set up the family team meeting as soon as possible so that that way you can bring everybody to, to the table. If all of us are at the table connecting to try to figure out what the best track is for treatment. We get the case from intake and it goes to adoption so that's my frame of reference mostly in working with know the case going down the river. We're responsible for um, taking the cases from intake um, and seeing them through the per through permanency. I would say ongoing is kind of the person in the middle between intake and adoptions. Being able to collaborate with them throughout kind of the beginning of the case, I don't know, we just work together to kind of know where to go with that information for the family. You know intake does the initial investigation and figures out some of the issues. We're the ones that have to follow up and interact with the court and the treatment providers and the clients. I think one of the things that I appreciate about Adams County in the past several years is that we've really had a commitment to norms and values and we've really gotten pretty concrete about our, what our mission is. Whenever the Department of Human Services in Adams County gets involved with a family and needs to file a court case in order to achieve its goals, whether it be reunification or protection of children or adult protection, we're the attorneys that file those cases. Caseworkers come to us with questions about cases 
and I really look at it as we're kind of working as partners in, in the process. So the more communication and the more effective communication we can have, the better the process works. I recruit and train our foster parents, which means that I am the one responsible for finding safe homes for kids to be in while they're removed from their families and working, and we're working toward reunification. Our primary goal is always to get those kiddos to return at home safely in whatever way that we can do that, whether it's help those kids heal by providing that some temporary safe place for them to be. We've got some really amazing families that do a lot to help our families reunify, which is pretty phenomenal. I think we, there are a lot of resources that we can put in place. I think there are a lot of um, trying to get the gist of kind of what is going on in the family to kind of get a better feel for what the family might need. I think we have um, caseworkers, um, supervisors that are really good at what they do. We're now over at the Annex building where we have the internal treatment team, better known as ITT. So come with me and let's go talk to a few of the people who help our families become successful. Every family that gets involved with the department is in some way somehow struggling with a child protection concern, whether it's domestic violence, substance abuse, um, physical abuse, sexual abuse on some level. Um, so our goal is to help them understand their role as parents and to become more protective parents. You know, they have the opportunity to be able to speak for themselves, to be able to relay their story, and from the get-go then they're able to um, feel more heard and then that starts to establish more trust. For many years at the adoption finalization hearing, it, uh, it, it's, it's, it's just so wonderful. You know, I used to almost get a tear in my eye almost every adoption, and, and now I, <laughs> I've learned to hold it in a little bit better. But it's just nice to see these children obtaining permanency and to be in a safe and stable household. You know, with our families, we're very upfront with that is the goal, and you definitely can get there and just trying to keep them um, optimistic and to make sure that they still are hopeful that things can move forward. We get to know them. They get comfortable with us. I come in and I say I'm not here to judge you to say you're a bad parent but I'm here to help you. Anything that I can do for you I will try to help. Whether it's going back to their family or whether they're adopted I mean as long as it for me it's um, that the children have permanency. Um, and that they're in a safe environment. Anything that we can do to make the process easier for them um, or better for the families through a, you know, work with the caseworkers is what we do basically. The collaboration from the different sections, the different units, the different caseworkers, supervisors, I mean it's great and it all works. You know, people come in early, they leave late because they care about the families that they work with and it takes a certain type of person that, you know, has passion and drive and dedication. It's definitely rewarding when you're able to see that success after you put so much work into something. As you can see, when we all work together, it flows smoothly, kind of like a river. And where does that river lead us? It leads us to families that are living safe and stable lives.